Hello, my name is Jonathan Burnside. I'm a student in the Mas Mobile Gaming Master's program, and I'm here to talk about my final project for the master's degree. My project is called Sensor Dev. Um, the idea of Sensor Dev is, well, the users of mobile devices have all these sensors available. Um, now your games can have them as well. You see, Sensor Dev is a tool set used in Unity as a, as a plugin to reveal all the sensors that are available on an Android device. Um, Android API itself defines 25 different sensors, um, and individual hardware develop, uh, manufacturers can add other sensors beyond these 25. Um, while Unity only reveals a very small handful of those, like the accelerometer and the gyro, um, there's a lot more in, uh, sensors that may be interesting to game developers, such as light sensor, proximity sensor for the screen, uh, pressure sensor detecting, uh, which can be used to detect uh, estimated altitude, um, and probably most interesting are the multiple rotation vector. Uh, the gyroscope, which is already available, will give you sort of uh, um, difference in uh, rotation, I mean, kind of like acceleration. Um, whereas the rotation vectors will give you absolute values of how the device is oriented uh, relative to the Earth. So you can use this for things like head tracking or controlling a character or an object in the scene. Um, at this point, you might be asking, why is his head so big? Or is this camera zoomed in so much? Um, because I want to show you one of the more interesting features I added to the sensor dev tool set. It's a, uh, the ability to network the data from uh, an Android device to a build of a project running in Unity Editor. Uh, this, this feature allows for debugging and, and quick development without having to push to the device every time. Um, so I'm going to back up and let you see a, a, a scene using uh, some sensors, um, and we'll see that it's actually using uh, my phone, which is not plugged into the computer to do so. Mouse is hidden from me. All right, so if I press, press play in the scene, um, we get kind of a first person view here. It might be a little hard to see. Let's zoom in even more. Yet, but nothing really happening yet. I'm going to turn on my phone and we'll get my passcode. Um, and actually, that's already a reveal. I'm going to shut down the program there. Um, we can already see some things were happening here. Let me actually uh, restart this. Um, so, back to where we were. Um, no apps running on my phone at the moment. And if I start up the sensor scene, We'll see this actually looks different than the scene I have in Unity in a second, but now we can move uh, the camera in my scene in Unity by moving my phone around. Um, and you can see some little hiccups. It is, uh, this is over a network, um, and it does run uh, considerably less, less, with less issues if uh, at least one of the two devices is on a hard line. I'm running off both devices over Wi-Fi right now, and we're getting a fair amount of lag. Um, so it's not like anything I'd want to play a game this way, but uh, it does let you uh, test things and debug in your own natural env environment much easier than it is to do this on the device. Um, and maybe you're, you're a skeptic, maybe you're thinking I'm trying to pull some sort of fast one here, but I'll be using this metal ring or paper towel holder um, to prove there's no cords on my device. Oh, oh. Pulling through, nothing, nothing there, nothing up my sleeve. I don't have sleeves on. Um, and we can see it's still changing around. Um, and I can actually, if I move away from this, see we'll stop getting updates here. Um, the uh, no longer updating. And I can actually exit and go to a different scene. That also uses the sensors and just a wonderful gray scene, nothing interesting at all. But again, if I start up the scene, the same scene on my phone, um, probably very glary, but you can start to see the, the text there. Um, see, that's what's going on on my device on my screen here too. So it's controlling all the sensors just over the network. Uh, thanks for listening so far. The rest of the video will hopefully be a lot easier to see because we will be able to just record right from my computer screen uh, networking the sensor values that we want to test as we go.